Iran's deputy defense minister says the country is currently among the world's top five producers of anti-armor missiles, while enjoying a vast capacity for manufacturing cruise missiles and other defense hardware. The Islamic Iran currently stands among the world's top five producers of anti-armor missiles, Brigadier General Qasem Takazadeh said while addressing a ceremony in Tehran on Monday. At the same time, we have attained a very high capacity with regard to manufacturing various kinds of satellites, cruise missiles, and other types of military equipment, he added. The top military official noted that Iran's defense industry was totally dependent on other countries before the 1979 Islamic Revolution, but that trend changed after the revolution and the country now enjoys a high place in the world with regard to development of its military industries. He pointed to Iran's progress in the fields of manufacturing precision-guided missiles and smart air defense systems, saying that the domestically built Bavar 373 missile defense system is one of the most important defense achievements of the country after the victory of the Islamic Revolution. Iran unveiled the state-of-the-art surface-to-air Bavar 373 missile defense system, designed and manufactured by the country's experts, in August 2019. Iran unveils new domestically built missile system on Defense Industry Day. It is a mobile missile defense system designed to intercept and destroy incoming hostile targets. The system employs missiles that have a maximum range of 300 kilometers. The system is capable of simultaneously detecting up to 300 targets, tracking 60 targets at once and engaging 6 targets at a time. Iran has repeatedly said its military might poses no threat to other countries, and that its defense doctrine is based on deterrence. Also in his remarks, the Iranian defense official said the country had no place in space technology before the Islamic Revolution, adding, we are currently among the world's top eight countries in the field of space technology. Meanwhile, a British warship intercepted a boat smuggling Iranian weapons, including anti-tank missiles, off the coast of Oman in a joint operation with U.S. forces last week, officials said Thursday. The small craft, traveling at high speed after dark in international waters, was initially spotted by U.S. aerial surveillance, the British Embassy in the United Arab Emirates said. The boat, traveling south from Iran, was intercepted by forces from British frigate HMS Lancaster before it could navigate back to Iranian territorial waters on February 23. The weapons discovered on board included medium-range ballistic missile components as well Iranian versions of Russia's Cornet anti-tank missile, a statement said. The seizure took place along a route historically used to smuggle weapons to Yemen, according to the Bahrain-based United States 5th Fleet. This is the seventh illegal weapon or drug interdiction in the last three months and yet another example of Iran's increasing malign maritime activity across the region, said U.S. Vice Admiral Brad Cooper. In January, the U.S. Navy said it had seized more than 2,000 assault rifles smuggled on a fishing boat along a maritime route from Iran to Yemen. The Iran-backed Houthi rebels took control of the Yemeni capital Sana'a in 2014, 
prompting a Saudi-led coalition to intervene the following year. Since then, a grinding war has killed hundreds of thousands and pushed the impoverished nation to the brink of famine. Fighting has largely been on hold since an unbrokered ceasefire took effect in April last year, even after the agreement expired in October. The UN Security Council expanded an arms embargo on the Huddies in February 2022. Meanwhile, UN experts have confirmed that it is an Iranian ATGM, which was to be owned by one of the armed groups that make up the government of the National Agreement GNA government in Tripoli. They also said his discovery in Libya showed a violation of the UN arms and ammunition embargo on a country torn apart by civil war. However, it is not officially stated who handed over this weapon system to one of the parties to the conflict. There is no date of manufacture or elements indicating its supplier. Despite the UN embargo imposed on Libya for the supply of weapons and ammunition in connection with the country's civil war for years, the two sides in the conflict are regularly supplying weapons from many different countries. In GNA's case, these are mainly deliveries from Qatar and Turkey, and in the case of LNA, to Jordan and the United Arab Emirates, which is confirmed by a lot of evidence in recent months. Unofficially, there is talk of support in this regard from other countries, such as France, Iran, and Russia, which would support General Haftar's rebels.